you come around here you'll be able to see there's a mark on it that says grease. These two fittings right here are where you grease it. And you can see how it's sort of loose. See how the things are loose? That's because of a lack of grease. So you have an Allen wrench that will pop these puppies out. Make sure you don't lose them. And if you look in there, you'll see there's a little bit of grease. Not much, but a little. What we're going to do is add more grease. Because the grease is actually a crucial part of the system. So we're going to, where that came out, we're going to install, and you can get these as part of a kit from MaxProf. So if you reach out to MaxProf, tell them you want the MaxProf service kit. send it to you. It comes with, as I recall, two sets of these dirt fittings. Don't over type it if you're going into bronze. And then, the grease gun. Give her some squirts of grease. And you'll see there's water coming out of the back side, or what would be the front side of the prop. Because we are pressing the water out when we are pushing the grease in. And in the kit from MaxProf, you get the grease gun, the grease, and the fittings. by the grease. But we just ran out of grease, so I'm going to go get some more. So we have pumped an entire old tube of grease into this. And now we are three quarters of the way through a brand new tube of grease into this. This one has not been serviced in a while. Which speaks to the... There we go. Now you start to see some grease coming out. The water was spraying out with more pressure. So now we're done with this fitting. Wipe the grease off once, not on camera, but we're going to wipe the grease off here. Of course, get a little grease on me. Grease and caulk are magical things. There's very few ways to grease and caulk without getting some in places that you did not intend. So the fitting comes out. it a little bit but not too much because once again we're going into bronze and we're going to do the same thing over here Greasier than it was before, but we're going to put our grease fitting in. So we can start on this. We can use a snazzy wrench. But to be 
be honest, I'm cheating because I use so little pressure on this that I can use my tiny little channel locks. But really, truthfully, using a box wrench is better. Just remember, not too much pressure. And, as unbelievable as it sounds, because from that fitting aft, grease was coming out forward, I am now pumping away more grease into this front fitting. And you can see the water pouring out. The engineers, there we go, there we go. The engineers at Max Prop are really very good at this. The water stopped coming out, grease started coming out of these fittings, and now we are done. I am not paid by uh, Max Prop. But I have to tell you, I have a max prop on my own boat. I am impressed by the engineering, how well they're built, and little details like this. And don't forget that you can buy the uh, max prop service kit, which has these fittings grease gun and your first tube of grease. This is the prop on a 50 foot boat. Just snug that up a little bit. Not crazy. That's it. And the only thing left to do is to wipe off all the grease, change this zinc which is obviously done, and, uh, and the servicing of the prop is done. The grease takes care of everything. This one's ready to go. So uh, on to the rest of the bottom job.